Hi, my name is Felicia Subramani and welcome to GAPS online training session. In today's training session, I'm going to show you how to add, edit and delete a menu item. So in order to add a menu item, we are going to open up the hospitality back office and click on the menu item icon. Once you've clicked on the menu item icon, a list of menu items and their departments will appear in alphabetical order. We're going to click on the number column to help us filter this in number order, making it easier for us to find the department we'd like to add our new menu item to. So to add a menu item, we're going to locate the next available blank menu item and double click. This will take you to the details page. Before adding or editing any characters onto the system, we're going to click on edit. Start by entering the name of the menu item you'd like to add. For this example, we're going to use the energy drink Energade as our menu item. Take note of the color change from red to white in the name field. This is to indicate that there are known blank spaces in front of the name. If the name field remains red, GARP will recognize this as a blank item and it will not appear on the point of sale touchscreen. Please remember that GARP allows up to 24 characters, including spaces in the name field. Should you go over the length, the remainder of the characters will be cut off. Our next step is to allocate a type to our menu item. There are six available types to choose from. For this example, we're going to use ordinary items. These are sales items that would need to be printed on the bill. Example, a Coke, cheeseburger, or large fries. We'd also need to allocate a department to our menu item. This is used to group many items together for sales reporting. Allocate the appropriate department from the drop-down box. Next, we would need to allocate a touchscreen department to our menu item. This is used to group many items together for efficient use of the point of sale touchscreen. Allocate the printer where the menu item docker needs to be printed. Click on the drop-down. Should this be a drink menu item, you will allocate it to print on the service printer. Should it be a food menu item, you can allocate this to the kitchen printer. Please take note that the installation technician will set up the printer allocations when the system is being installed. For tax type, click on the drop down and select if you wish to have tax incorporated in the selling price or not. We can add the selling price by highlighting the box and deleting the zero. Add in the relevant price, including VAT, that you want to sell the menu item for. The cost will be updated as GRVs are captured to give you a real-time cost per menu item. The cost field will update from the recipe. A cost may also be entered manually, excluding VAT, if no recipe is linked. You can add a color to the button for the menu item by clicking on this button to choose a color. Some users like to use this so that the front of house staff using the point of sale know that these items are colored for a reason, namely to highlight upsell, in-house specials, or popular menu items. It makes it easy to identify and speeds up service. You can add an icon or a picture to the button for beverage menu items. Click on the button and add an icon. Search for the clickable icon and double click on it. Icons for the most popular beverages and liquor items are already available on the system. You can click on the disable button after box should you wish to stop the sale or ringing up of this menu item when you are out of stock. The service team will not be able to ring up this menu item after a certain number of orders are sold or not at all. It depends on how the user sets it up. This helps when stock runs out or you want to limit the amount of sales on a specific menu item. Once satisfied with the new menu item and details, please click on the save button. The menu item is now created. Should you wish to edit a menu item, click on the menu item icon, go to find and type in the menu item you wish to edit and click on the find button until the correct menu item shows on your list. Double click on the menu item, click on edit and this will allow for you to make the necessary changes. To delete a menu item, 
you're going to click on the menu item icon and go to find you're going to type in the name of the menu item you wish to delete and click find right click on the menu item and click delete you should only delete a menu item after you have run month end in order to preserve the history linked to the particular menu item if an item reflects as deleted in the name column it means there are still figures recorded for this item and it should be left until the month end and that concludes this training module we hope that you found it beneficial and that you learned something new. Uh, please feel free to contact us with any GARP related queries. You can either log a call with the call center on 0861 745 260 or you can send us an email to support at garp.co.za. Don't forget to include your account number in the subject line of the email. This can be found on the home screen of your point of sale. And you can also include, or please remember to include, a detailed message in the body text of the email so that the relevant department can contact you. Thank you and goodbye.